Hi, we're going to look at this Titman 68 carbine and see how to gain access to the valve. We're going to use just a single eighth inch Allen wrench and perhaps a pick for this. And to get access to the valve, which sits right about here, you need to be able to get to it and to unlock it. So first thing we're going to do is drop the grip. Grip's held in with four screws, two in the front, two in the back. We always use a magnetic bowl to catch our parts here so we don't lose anything. The back screws are screwed directly into the frame of the gun. The front screws on the carbine screw into a bushing that goes between the two. And you'll see that bushing just fell out, so that's threaded on both sides so that the, the screws go into that directly underneath where that bushing was is the valve lock. Now that might be under some tension right now. No, it's going to come out. So it's a little metal, but little metal button. And I don't know the trick to this other than just Kind of prying it out. There you go. So there you see that's just a small metal plate. And that slides up into a notch on the valve which locks it in place. So now that the valve is unlocked, we need to get better access to it so we can slide it out the back. So we'll undo the rear bolt, uh, bolt plug here. off and then out comes the drive pin, drive spring or rear bolt spring and if you notice when if you try at this point to get the uh, bolt out it's not going to work because the connecting pin is here. So we're going to slide the sight backwards, I'll come right off and now this can extend all the way back. Well, now the now that that sight's off, you'll see the linkage arm that goes from the rear bolt to front bolt can fall out. And with that out, the rear bolt is released to extend farther back. When it does that, you can now get the cocking handle out. Rear bolt falls out. And remember the valve is already unlocked. And out it comes. And there you now have the valve out of a 68 carving for replacement or repair work.